Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our diagnostic firmware we're gonna be finding with our AM Infinity. Now, when we went and purchased our Infinity new, we registered our product and we went in and downloaded the firmware image specific for our box. So whether we're on version 96.2 or 96.3, we download it and we put in that sequential firmware image, that .pack rip file, we walk through that in the beginning of this training series. Now, we're gonna be going back into that same area to download our diagnostic firmware. And if we wanna go in and test the outputs our infinity. If we're suspicious, maybe we have a bad injector output or coil output or our low side output. So we're trying to control our fuel pump or our fans and it doesn't seem to be working and we're suspicious maybe the AEM is bad, we can put it into this diagnostic mode where we go in and flash the firmware and it's gonna only allow us to go in and command these things on or off for about three to five milliseconds, but it's gonna allow enough time that we can figure out if the infinity is controlling it or not and we can go and troubleshoot from there. Whether you have bad wiring or a bad coil or the infinity's bad, we can pinpoint what the problem is very quickly. So I'm gonna walk you through the process of how it works and what to do when you get into the diagnostic mode and how you're gonna be utilizing it for troubleshooting purposes. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check it out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at the diagnostic mode that we can put our infinity in to go and test the output. So if we're unsure if a, an injector output or a coil output or a low side output controlling something like a radiator fan or a fuel pump is working properly, we can put it into a diagnostic specific mode and test each individual output if we want. Now in order to do that, we have to obtain a firmware image and firmware flash it. So we're gonna have to jump into, go in here to our Infinity Tuner site. I'm signed into my account here and I went into my a particular box part number that I'm using here and I go down the list and I'll be looking for this diagnostic file here, this V96.2 uh, LF LNF 710 diagnostics. Now, depending on what box you're gonna be using, you may or may not be uh, using this 96.2. Now, I have a 710 box uh, to run a 10 cylinder and 96.3 is not available. So chances are, as you're watching this video, you're gonna be using a 508H uh, or 506 box and they're going to be running or have available the 96.2. So you want to grab the latest firmware image that you can for this diagnostic. So I'm going to go in here and download. I'm going to go click save. I went ahead and saved that .pack grip file. Now, if we're using Windows 